let's talk about uh, grading Nintendo's performance at E3 2017. So we're looking at the whole package here. You have the E3 Spotlight, which mostly focused on Switch. You have Treehouse Lives, which focused on a lot of th stuff, if you think about it. And then you even have the Invitationals, which hopefully you guys have caught up with. I've, I've seen a few, so I could talk a little bit to those. Um, but as a whole... You know, we've got announcements, right? We've got, or we've got trailers for like Xenoblade and they showed Kirby for the first time. You got a Pokemon tournament reminder along with, hey, we're making a new Pokemon RPG. You got Metroid Prime 4, Fire Emblem Warriors, a Zelda sort of section that was all about the DLC pack is coming. That was cool. Uh, the yeah. name of the second uh, pack, which apparently I think is being called the Champion's Ballad. Mm -hmm. Um new amiibo for each of the champions um and uh That's the skyrim bad. zelda reminder yeah we yeah. missed the zelda by the way like the the, the metroid, metroid like squishy oh man that that if you're listening frustrated apologies for that these guys were going on long enough about samus returns i didn't i thought about bringing it up and i was like let me just let them finish oh you know i was excited about that one <laughs> already pre-ordered immediately really? yeah, oh, yeah yeah yeah. Um, so that, then, oh, that's yeah. September, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's yeah. so crazy. It's so, that's so awesome. crazy. Yeah, that's no, awesome. I think uh, someone from Nintendo told Kotaku that game's done. They're just in polished state at this point. That's so yeah. awesome. Great news. Um, that's a long polish time. Yeah. So Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle was shown. Rocket League uh, with Nintendo branded content and crossplay, and Super Mario Odyssey. So that's just the spotlight as a whole. But yep. how did they do? Give me the quick version. Your quick reaction. Your gut reaction. One sentence. Who wants to go first? And then you can expand on that. Uh, I would say A minus. Um, I, oh. I thought they had a fantastic showing across everything. I think that the pacing of it was a little weird. Like I would have loved to see that Metroid announcement folded into uh, the Metroid Prime Four announcement, and I would have loved to see oh, the, the Samus Returns yeah, one and the Breath of the Wild Link Tunic in Skyrim thing folded into their conference and not Bethesda's. Like mm. there was just, and I would have liked to see. Obviously, I'm, I always say this, but more third party stuff. But <laughs> you know, I think Rick Rocket League's a good start. You know, finding yeah. out more about Skyrim's good. Uh, I just want more. And more of that, and that's on the, on them as much as it is everybody else to pay attention and see that this thing's doing well. That was oh, more sad. than one sentence. I'm surprised at your high rating. I mean, I, I want to clarify. I I, lo I loved what I saw of of uh, Mario. I love the reveals of the Metroid games. If I had to grade the spotlight itself, I'd give it a C plus, and that's because I thought the pacing of it was really odd. It like started with Xenoblade, and it did not yeah. look that great. Yeah. It looked Why very Xenoblade? flat and not unpolished, and like I don't think the I don't I don't think the it was mounted the right way. Had they taken the reveal of the 3DS Metroid game, which happened afterwards, and had built this into the into the spotlight, and I know they wanted to focus on Switch, but they could have had a moment where they said, hey, 3DS owners, we haven't forgotten about you, and then rolled into Metroid. I think they would have had all these emotional highs. I think they could have constructed it better. So, But as an overall showing, it was really successful, and I liked it a lot what better. What would you give it then? Yeah, I would give it definitely a B-plus overall. The The... Thing I didn't like was that I, I looked at the showing. I said, "Crap! The third parties are still not there." Yeah, we've we've demonstrated. Nintendo has demonstrated that this machine is good and people want it. And E three gave us again FIFA and basically didn't give us a lot of it. It's an older That's version true. of FIFA yeah. being po ported. I thought the rabbits moment in the Ubisoft conference, my favorite conference at the yeah. show. Ubisoft had so much heart. That was really good. And the Rocket League thing was a good third. And then party. Rocket League was awesome. The Skyrim thing was awesome, but the third party's not Minecraft showing up. Minecraft Better Together update. What about that? It's you got to cool. switch in it's the cool, Microsoft but that, concept. But that, that was, was interesting. That was yeah. in the Microsoft concept. Yeah. But like I, I, I thought for sure they would give people confidence that the third parties are not staying away and they understand that this is a different machine from the Xbox and PS4. And so you would see support, m more support from, you know, from, from Sega and EA and Ubisoft Soft and everything. There just wasn't that much. Well, in a way out, it doesn't help that a way out looks like a Switch game. Like in, in terms yeah. of it is a two player driven yep. adventure where you would imagine just popping off the Joy-Con and doing those assignments yeah. between yeah. two and, people. And I want to be clear, I don't want, I don't want games to be designed for this machine that have a hard time running on it or something. You know, like a game like, a, you know, an Assassin's Creed where you have to downspec it. Like, I, I was hoping that f Nintendo and third parties would come to terms in figuring out what's unique about this machine and what games you should bring. Now, yeah. there are lots of cool indie games coming. I thought the Rocket League announcement was fantastic. That is, it's a game we've asked for. That was, by the way, one of my E3 predictions. I think the one I got right. Yeah. Really? Um, yeah. But, um, but there... You know, like I wanted more of kind of like this is the future of Switch. Here's this year, which I'm excited about with Splatoon and Mario. It's so cool. And here's what next year is going to look like with the help from our friends. I didn't quite get that. And that's why I was a little down. 
That, that, that was Paris one sentence. Yeah, I was going to say that's a, um, that was quite a sentence. Yeah, sorry. So I, I will say German German sentence. I will long. say to your point about um, the weird pacing and, and 3ds being left out of uh, the spotlight. Uh, keep in mind, this is Nintendo's first E3 with the Switch officially announced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, last year we saw a lot of Breath of the Wild, but that was in the days when it was still the Nintendo NX, and we had no idea what this system was. Yep. So I totally understand them uh, dedicating their entire spotlight just to the Switch to make that a, a singular entity. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, that being said, I also give them a B plus, uh, not necessarily for the same reasons. I think <coughs> having a game like Mario and Rabbids, um, which I loved, I was completely blown away by mm. how, how into uh, that game I was mm-hmm. it, like full disclosure. When that game leaked, I was like, that is the dumbest idea. Yep. And then <laughs> seeing it on Ubisoft stage, seeing the support of Miyamoto behind it, I was like, okay, this has the potential to be something very, very cool. And just that that vote of confidence from a publisher, a developer like Ubisoft alone, to me, signals like, okay, maybe more third parties will see this and jump on board, yep. which I think is great. The B-plus for me comes from the idea that Nintendo has set up such an awesome year um, through the end of this year with uh, uh, Splatoon, uh, Splatoon 2, uh, Metroid, uh, Samus Returns, um, uh, Mario Odyssey, right? Mm-hmm. And then next year we're getting things like Yoshi, Kirby, uh, mm-hmm. already they've said 2018 that's coming out. That's great. But I think it was a huge miss to announce a Pokemon RPG, which people have been clamoring, clamoring for for decades, and to announce a game like Metroid Pride 4 and be like, it's coming. It's you, in you development. So, so- it's coming soon. Hi, I'm Per Schneider, new interim host of NVC. If you want to see more, you can watch the entire episode of Nintendo Voice Chat, our weekly Nintendo show, at youtube.com slash Nintendo Voice Chat, or on our show page on IGN. Leave a comment, subscribe, give us good feedback, and we'll see you back soon.